Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to do a frag grenade or a fragment grenade. And what I'm building here is going to be just not an original, normal frag grenade. I'm going to give it some detail to make it look more realistic. And so I got to need a certain size for this to make it more realistic as a pickup or as an actual weapon. I'm going to be using um, 64 by 64, that way I can scale it out on uh, any other enemy sprite that I use it for. So my plan here is to uh, work from the pin, which is the top of the grenade, and then work my way down. And hopefully uh, the grenade turns out like I, I'm hoping it will turn out like. In the meantime, I might as well tell you a quick story about the frag grenade. A grenade is an explosive weapon typically thrown by hand, but can also refer to an explosive shell shot from the muzzle of a rifle or even a grenade launcher. A modern hand grenade generally consists of an explosive charge, which is known as a filler, and attached is a detonator mechanism an internal striker to trigger the detonator, and also a safety lever secured by a linchpin for unwanted mishaps. The grenade works when someone removes the safety pin before throwing, and once the grenade leaves the hand, the safety lever gets released, allowing the striker to trigger a primer that ignites the fuse, which is commonly known as the delay element, which burns down to the detonator and explodes the main charge. Fragmentation grenades are really common in armies. They are weapons that are designed to disperse fragments on detonation, aimed to damage targets within as lethal and injury radii. The body is generally made of a hard synthetic material or steel which will provide some fragmentation as shards and splinters, though in modern grenades a preformed fragmentation matrix is often used. Preformed fragmentation may be spherical, cuboid, wire, or notched wire. Most common grenades are designed to detonate either after a time delay or on impact. Grenades disperse fragments, create shockwaves with its high explosives, and even stunts. Chemical aerosols such as smoke and gas are used for implementation, even fire such as the incendiary grenades. Fragmentation grenades, frags, are probably the most common in modern armies, and when the word grenade is used in everyday speech, it is generally referred to as a fragmentation grenade. The outer casings is generally made out of a hard synthetic material or steel, are designed to rupture and fragment on detonation, sending out numerous fragments, shards, and splinters as flash flying projectiles. Grenades are often spherical, cylindrical, ovoid, or truncated, ovoid in shape, and of a size that fits the hand of a normal adult. Fragmentation grenades can be divided into two main types, defensive and offensive, where the former are designed to be used from a position of cover against an open area outside, and have an effective kill radius greater than the distance they can be thrown, while the latter are for use by assaulting troops and having a smaller effective radius. Modern fragmentation grenades such as the United States M67 grenade have a wounding radius of 15 meters, that is approximately 49 feet. Half that of older style grenades which can still be encountered and can be thrown about 40 meters which calculates to about 130 feet. Fragments from the explosion could travel more than 200 meters, that calculates to 660 feet from its uh, original detonation location. Well, that's the end of the story of uh, the fragmentation grenade. I just thought I'd uh, kind of fill up the commentary here for the video, you know, kind of like kill time. It's also good to know information, right? So might as well just throw this stuff in there, right? Okay, well, so our grenade's looking pretty well with the uh, colors in there. Just gonna add a few more colors uh, to make it uh, more uh, realistic here. 
Now to uh, find the right colors, I'm just going to mess around with some of this green here. Uh, see what I, I can come up with. Hmm, there's lots of greens to choose from, eh? Green, 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 green. I'm just looking for like uh, my personal specific green for this uh, sprite that I'm working on. So I'll keep looking here. There, that green looks about right. I'll just flutter this around here and there, fill it here and there. We're gonna grab some of this dark green and use it for some shadowing on the pin. Now we'll use the same green to do the outlining shadow for the shell so it looks more, uh, you know, like pineapple kind of looking for the grenade. After I'm done this shadowing, you should see what it kind of looks like on a different scale. kind of want to make it look like a web, I guess you would say, you know, just kind of spread it out, make it more like a, you know, evenly on each side. Just take your time, you should, you should get it. Just gonna finish the bottom half here and uh, make sure it looks nice and coney. Okay, it's looking pretty good there, so let's uh, see what we can do next here. I guess we could fill in this bottom with some shadow in here. We're gonna add some, in some of uh, this uh, lighter green to give it some detail with the shadowing. Now if we spread this green around it will look a lot better I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna put it all over the place type of thing. And just see what it turns out to be so we'll fill in a couple lines here and then uh, fill it with the bucket uh, I'll just throw a little bit up in here throw a little bit up in here And we'll use the fill bucket again. 
as you can see I use the fill bucket a lot when I'm doing stuff like this it's a uh, pretty handful or handy should I say handy handy um, we'll just throw a little bit up in here in here Okay, great. Details are looking awesome. Alright, let me think. Um, I think it looks good the way it is. Let's double check this notch here. So I think I'm going to zoom out and take a quick look and see what it looks like from a point of view. Oh wow, look at that, eh? Look at that. That looks great. That looks awesome. I just don't like the green shadowing at the bottom, so I'm going to mess around with some of the screen here and see what I can come up with. Make it look a little bit better. Maybe it's too dark. Well, at the moment, I'm just trying to watch my left screen to see how the green shading looks on there. Well, that's pretty much the end of my video for this grenade. Uh, hopefully, you guys like it. And um, if you guys want any animations or any certain sprites that I uh, haven't posted or haven't seen, just give me a, a, a comment and a like and share or subscribe to me, you know, I can help you out see what I can do. Anyways, I hope you all liked my video. Um, please subscribe, it definitely helps out my uh, channel.